Okay. Hello and welcome back to Trash It. As per usual, you've got this wonderful co-host. I've got Celia, I've got Adi, and I've got GK. Now, as I always say, the, what, the, the streets of social media, they're always bringing in information. But the information that dropped this week was <laughs> halahot. The spiritual world was turned upside down when gospel artist Samuel Kosu confessed to have had a year-long affair with an American lady who addressed herself as African Doll. Um, initially, when Sammy posted his apology addressed to his wife of 11 years on his now deleted Instagram account, um, people were like, okay, what, what's going on? The bells were swimming. And people like me were like, there's more to this story. So allegedly, there's a court. Now, African Doll, this American lady, went on a three-hour YouTube extensive conversation detailing the how, the where, of their rendezvous. And if Sammy had not been rude to her, chances are we might not hear this. So let me go to Celia and Ajike. I now you're the women. You know, sometimes women, eh, you get, <laughs> our blood is always hot. So, <laughs> not to say that Sammy is a man, but Sammy is just a man. So I want to go around the panel and I'll just start with you too. When that news broke, and the reason I'm going to YouTube first as in Celia and Ajike is that when you look at the congregation, the church, the spiritual setting, there's more women in the churches than men. It's not as if you men don't know God, Adi. But let me just say Celia and Ajike, when that news broke, what was your thought process? What was it that came to mind like, hey, someone has catch Bele, Zazu. <laughs> I mean, when I... First of all, I didn't even know this relationship was a year long. I thought it was just he went to America to minister. He, he saw the lady. He liked her and slept with her. And unfortunately, after one sleeping with, she got pregnant. But I'm quite surprised that this affair has been a year long. And Samuel Kosu or Kosi, is not just a man. He's meant to be a man of God. You see, that's the problem. Because all these men of God parading themselves around as if you know, they, they, they have meetings with God every five, five times a day and all those kind of things. They put themselves in this pedestal that you see them in such a way that when they do something like this, you, you're forced to judge them differently than you would judge any other man who would have maybe cheated on his wife. And for a married man, I'm surprised. Well, anyway, he wouldn't be the first, right? There are a lot of allegations about various pastors that have done this. And also a lot of gospel, because he's a gospel minister. He's ministered in the church I used to attend in London, mm. right? He comes, he ministers, and, you know, everybody has that respect for him and all of that. And then for him to do this, I don't know, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. But again, who am I? I'm just a mere person. Um, I don't have any personal relationship with him. I'm just not even a fan. It's, I'm just someone that, that has heard his ministration. I thought, and I thought he was good. But again, this just shows that people would always be people, you know, nobody's above temptation, but I don't know. I what do you think? Because I don't know. You, you know, before I you come in, interestingly, you said he's ministered in your church. Yeah. He was supposed to play at my wedding. So yeah, that was how much I liked him. He was supposed to play on my wedding. And I think we got to even contracting him, but the dates coincide with something he had planned outside yeah. the country, okay. which he's already committed to. So I just care as per se, you be yayad. When you heard this, it's in your house that they do our fellowship now. So why are you here? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know him. I, 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 I don't know him, but I, I didn't even hear the story. That well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. It was I don't know what's happened. And when they said it, I wasn't shocked because his name is very synonymous with affairs. So it's not a new thing. I'm surprised people are shocked. I'm shocked people are shocked. <laughs> it's nothing new. I think he has done it in the past. I know one very big scandal then. I can't remember where it was. I think I had not, maybe I just married. I, I don't I, that's years ago. But he has, you know, there are some names that they have always, you know, in the Christian um, faith or whatever. Mm. It, there are some names, and his name is, in fact, is number one. Me and one of our pastor like that say, hey, there are names. Because the question, I remember Nathaniel Bassi asked that question when, you know, that particular pastor's name was going around. And he said, you know, why is this only your name? 
Mm. Why are they not calling my name? Why are they not calling Adeboye? Why are they not calling Noedeko? Why that, those names? You understand? So really, there is no smoke without fire. And uh, we really need to understand that there is a lot of mental health issues. When I say mental health, it's not only on somebody's tear clothes and enter road that you are mad or you have issues. Uh, sex, sex, uh, sexual addiction, addiction. is a problem. Yeah. It's a problem. Go and see the doctor. It's not until you scabash. It's not until you pray. There are some things that prayer will not do. Whether you shout from now to next year. No, it's true. There are some things prayers will not, it's, it will not just work. So you have to, do the, you know, it's just like, even when you marry, because I, there, there was a post I put up some weeks ago that somebody said, you know, that because you married a virgin, the zombie your marriage is supposed to be great. Hmm. You have to walk the walk. You have to learn how to do the marriage, what they do in marriage. You have to learn. So if you keep having this problem day in, day out, there is a problem. And until he's ready to sit down and face that problem, I don't know. But well, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. It's just, I'm not surprised. I'm not... So spiritually, on shock is something we kind of expect. But Ade, you know, without over spiritualizing things, and I don't want to kind of take this on face value. Celia and Ajake touched on something. He's someone that ministers to a lot of people. At the same time, it's what we know of him. When you heard the news. Was this a shock to you, or are you just on the fence that he's a man? He can just well, I I don't know the man really, but I've heard <laughs> he's a singer, probably heard the song, which I didn't take notice of him. But you can say something that mental health issue, right? You see, that they, there's people that have persistent offenders, hmm. right? It's not normal for people to keep repeating what they've been told, cautioned, punished about, and they keep doing it, right? There must be an underlying issue with them mentally. And he might be using this gospel thing as a getaway from his problem to cover up the crack that is going through. Mm. Do you understand? Because he can't be a man that goes out and sing gospel and be fearful of God and say he's, a, he's very close to God. And then he's doing things against the will of God. So <clears throat> there must be something wrong. I'm sorry, something is not right. And he needs help. Mm. To be honest with you, he needs help, right? And people, uh, because for a man who is as old as he is, mm. he's not 30 years old, he's not 25 years old. No. He's married, you know? God knows how long he's been married. 11 and years. I've heard story, yeah, I've heard a story that um, the wife, the woman hasn't got a child for him. No. Right? Uh -huh. no and he's gone out to do that. There's more damage on the woman <laughs> as he is. Mm. But he's a, he's a man that doesn't even reason the situation mm. he is. If you're gonna do that to get away, you know, you don't do it to the extent that the person is gonna get pregnant. Mm. You understand? You, you yeah. know that, look, this wife at home, who is being my backbone, you know? Imagine I go, I mean, come on, you reason now as a man. I don't know how this uh, priest or gospel singer reason, because you know, mm. he not get sense as far as I'm concerned. Mm. You know, we understand man is a man, but mm. this is one past man is a man. Man is a man, think. I'm on, I know one Beleo. Sure, you understand. I know you that is well known. All they have to do is go online and just mention your name. People will dig you out. I mm. can go to America, get someone pregnant. You can go online and mention my Nobody knows me. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's a man who says, uh, God is holy. Da -da 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 -da. Coming to your wedding, if you are going, you come and sing at your yeah, wedding. So. <laughs> I'll tell you how, how long your wedding should last. You should be telling you, <laughs> telling your husband, but I'm on, this is how we do it too. This is how we eat the streets. <laughs> this is how we do it in the streets. Yeah. You know? streets. So I, I, I'm not really surprised. You know, I'm not, I'm not surprised. But I just think that people need to understand that there's something wrong with him. Hmm. Right? You know, they, they need to check out something is not right with that man. And people can a lot of people have problems, they go to church to cover up. Hmm. Right? There's some some normally even we that are normal, when hmm. we're down and depressed, we get a uh, song of presses to lift us up. Yeah, to cover the crack, you understand. So I believe that's what he's doing, right? Mm -hmm. And we're, if we're gonna think he should be responsible, we're wasting our time. Believe me, because okay. it's not the first time they said it's not the second time. He's gonna do it again. He will do it again until he get the help he needs. If he doesn't get the help he needs, he's not gonna stop. You know, Ade, that that's very good point. You touched on something which I'm gonna actually ask you three now. 
we've heard that this is not news. This might be news to quite a few people, but those on the streets actually say this is not news. Um, he was, it was alleged that he was dating um, Stella and um, Ketensho yes. at some point. And the, there was alleged violence in that relationship. Apparently that was while Kate w uh, left the relationship. And yes. Sammy also fathered a child with Gloria Ebel. I think the child is, she's not even a child anymore, but she's someone's child, she's like 19. And he was sent away from the choir of Pastor Paul Adifarasin's church for allegedly getting four ladies pregnant. Wow. Now, that being said, at this point, at what point do we come to a conclusion that he's a good musician that sings gospel song, but he's not actually a Christian? Or am I just reading too much to this because if you are carrying an emblem that I am the moral gospel or, or a moral compass that should be indoctrinated into you that thou shalt not fornicate is in the 10 commandments so Celia you sing you listen to a lot of worship song at what point do we as listeners of worship song separate people that think, well, I actually, I'm, I can sing. That would tell you, no, you can sing. Well, gospel songs are not, not, not something you should do. You see, I, I just think that, I think maybe we, we need to start knowing because when, when someone is a gospel artist, yeah, you automatically assume that they're born again, they are holy, they're, that's they're the criteria. Pure, you know, that's the, that's what that's that's what you think automatically. But then it's almost as if we are getting it wrong. We shouldn't be seeing them like that. Let's just take. It's almost as if we should now just take gospel singing or gospel songs as a genre, which it is, like you know, um, R and B, Afro beats, and the rest. So that when things like this happen, and a gospel artist who we see as holy is doing things like this well we don't it doesn't really bother us because if it was david or whiskey or burner boy that did this okay well it's part of it's almost as if yes that that comes as a job description from their line of music whereas when a gospel artist does it we're like no 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 we expect more from you because you are the one that leads us to the holy of holies mm -hmm. you understand so it's Thank almost as if, you understand so it's almost as if this gospel artist they can't hold it anymore because they're, they're just like your David and Whiskey. They're not different from them. They're men as well. And it's the same blood that runs through their veins. It's the same blood that goes to their what seat that gets it when they see a woman. Do you Ola. understand? So forget all these, uh, oh, you know, they, they, they sing and they do this and they call the Holy Spirit. All, all of them is just part of the job description. Is what you have to do as a gospel artist. So maybe we should start seeing gospel artists not as necessarily Christians, but just as people that can that like singing gospel songs and they've come out to sing. Yeah, because but, but you, you see this guy, mm. he goes to church and sing and pray on women and get them pregnant. Yeah. This I'm sorry to use the words the devil. Because if he's if he's gonna have his way as a normal man, that should be outside of the church. Then when he goes to church, he put on the holy gown and be holy. Do you get? But once I've been hearing that he goes to church, impregnate four women yeah. in the congregation. Allegedly. Tell me, don't you need? They are not pregnant. Allegedly. What even happened to those pregnancies? I'd like to know because is it that he has four kids well, or five now? No, 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 no. If we go by the pattern with this African doll, chances are these four alleged pregnancies were aborted at some point. Right, okay. Because. Wow. When you look at the text message, the conversation he has with African dolls is like, you need to get away with, you need to do away with it. And I won't just throw a line there if I've not been using it before. So yeah. Ajike, let me go to you, given what um, Celia and um, Adi have said. So should we now consider gospel as, it's a genre, you're quite right, Celia, but the requirement to be a gospel artist is that the bare minimum is you know God, at least. You know God, you and you, you are. Yeah, go on. You can't. You can't do that, really. You can't because even the Bible, the person that did, uh, she know very very well. David, it's God's beloved. There's nothing one I do about it. You understand? So <laughs> it's true. It it just depends on the person. But really, another thing I just 
I, from my own personal experience, and from what I can see, is he's not as, I know some people might take offense what I'm about to say, but the matter is that, in my own opinion, if you know Sami so you need to know the pedestal he's supposed to be on now. He's supposed to be at the, almost inching towards them, Sonia Day. Yeah, in music. Yeah. But see, See, see where he is at the back. See them not at your back. See all those other people. Mm-hmm. See people in front. Some people have gone. See them They've yeah. gone ahead. If you are calling, say something. You understand? So some things it might not be that. He might he might be messing up, but really you can see it in his life. You can see it. You see as everything just mm-hmm. you know everything just messed up and all that. I'm not trying to say that those of us who don't have their issues, I don't know. Mm. But just like that if you follow God and you know there is a particular you know order to things, this is not where this guy should be personally if you ask me. This is not where it's supposed to be. So some things are not playing out really. You know even David as much as he loved God, his house was never in order after that. His house was never in order. His son slept with the daughter, somebody read this or something. Well, you know, even if to us, the outsiders, it was still the king. Mm. To people in the kingdom, it was the king. But his house was in disarray. And we can even see it with this particular man we're talking about. And I didn't, well, I did not know that even my mother and her family are Because if I see him, I will almost need and greet him because of the money he has. I will be like, yeah. <laughs> and we almost you understand it, it took me it was well it was it, he did his 40th birthday recently mm-hmm. i was shocked because i've been using I, because this guy you know god you can see the hand of god upon i'm not saying the hand of god is not upon him that's not before they come and catch me in my house but <laughs> what i'm just trying to say is that you know there are consequences for actions for certain actions you can repent and all these things to change but it's not my place and we cannot say oh because they are a gospel artist you, if you do if you or commit a particular offense, you should be cut off. The council culture, personally, I don't like the council culture. You can't just cancel people out. You can't because you are not really good, really. Oh, yeah, in as much as you don't oh, like, the, in as much as you, you don't like the council culture, you know when someone is a repeat offender. If, if we are counting it now, there are like, like ten people who have ah, the leg in that many minutes. Yeah. Like I told you, I was not surprised. I was not shocked. Then so I just said, I said, hey, okay. And I just continued. You know, it's like, if something like that, if they said, Nathaniel Bassett is something like that, do you know the gravity? This world will shake. Hmm. As in, it will shake. Even me, I'll be shook. But you know what they just said? I said, hey, yeah, okay. You know, it was, that's how for you, that's for you to know how, you know, I don't know how to, I don't know the English to use for the matter, but you know, to show you how, What's it pumping? What's it ten billion? The whole matter is so. It's how inconsequential is. <laughs> it is in the matter. Okay, so let this is me trying to be the devil's as advocate. As Ade has said, this man might potentially be the devil. Let me be the devil's advocate. Do you think it was set up, Ade? Because if you listen to African Doll's account. Uh, it was as if she sussed him out uh, on purpose because it's, obviously he's a weak person when it comes to that. He fell for the trap. There were pictures that African doll had taken of where he had taken his wristwatch off. His boxes was on the floor and his shoe was by the door. You know, if you want to do a fear, there's no time to be doing photographic evidence. Did, did you get what I'm saying? So, Adi, do you think this guy was set up? Well, because now he probably will have to pay child care for the rest of his life. So do you think? Well, she, you know what? I don't know. I wouldn't say a lot of women. You know, some, some women are crafty, right? They know what they aim for. They know what their goals are, especially when you hear someone call herself African dog. What kind of a name is African dog? Is that a responsible person? Uh-uh. Uh, is it, African queen. Queen is, just imagine queen and a doll. Is that, is, can you compare queen and a doll? A doll gives a different image, right? Imagination to people. When you say, oh, I'm a Barbie doll, I'm a sexy doll, uh, I'm, a, I'm this doll. But when you say you're a queen, it comes with a bit of respect. Do you understand? So I'm not surprised if the doll wants to trap him or had a plan of her own territorial motive and she's achieved it. But he himself, 
because he's a man who's prone to continue doing that. And he will, after this, another doll will catch him. I can guarantee that. <laughs> Seriously. He will doll will catch him this time. Yeah. yeah, a baby will catch him. Anyone will catch him. Even the uh, two other men will catch him. Hey. So, Celia, do you think he was set up? I don't think he was set up. He had a relationship for one year. How how the relationship with this girl? Let me let me walk you in. Okay. So allegedly, this woman reached out to Sammy and said, "Oh, I was in the concert. I really enjoyed your ministration." And he replied, "But oh, that's so lovely. I have another concert coming up in a few weeks. Would you like to attend?" And she said yes. And she drove three hours from where she was to go to the concert. And then he asked her, oh, what, did you catch the concert? Did you enjoy it? And she said, yes. She said, oh, well, we're on our way back. And the guy goes, oh, and you didn't come to see me. If you really mm -hmm. left where you are and drove three hours to see me, you should have made an effort to do. So it looks as if she targeted him. He was set up, he was targeted by the kingdom of darkness. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> have you watched those films where they will tell, when they'll be in the meeting, all those films, they will tell the girl, I am a tiger. I'm going to send you to Lagos. There's a pastor there that has been shutting down our operations. We want you to go there and bring him down. That, what yes. that must have happened. Yes, he, he, allows himself, he, he allowed himself to be set up. So somebody came to watch your concert and wrote to you. Yes, she drove three hours to watch you. So, okay, you have gone. Okay, thank you very much. I hope this one also ministered to you like the first. You know, Rich, you have a wife at home. You see, the thing is, some, some, some men, some married men are very disrespectful. And Adi, as you said earlier, yeah, we can do, it's almost impossible for you to say men should not cheat or women should not cheat. But when you do, put a sock on it, okay? Don't go and now get the woman pregnant or get pregnant by the man. That is just, it's, it's not, that's not the, that, that, that's not the rule of the game. You can't do that. Do you understand? So no, nobody set him up. He was set up by the kingdom of darkness. He needs to take his problems there, let them go and sort it out. And he allowed, he opened himself up. What happens to being filled with the Holy Spirit? When you go to different countries or different places to minister, as a minister of the gospel, whether it's the Bible or by songs or wo of worship and praise, you are supposed to be filled with the Holy Spirit at that Jesus. point in time. Because you know that is when the devil will want to attack you. That is when yeah. the devil will send all those small, small girls in pants and the guy itself in trousers that want to come and be tapping, trying to get into your gay, your gay side. Do you understand? Ah. So you are supposed to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Samuel Apostle was not filled with the Holy Spirit. He just went there to go and sing Christian yes. songs. He is a Davido or whiskey that went to go and sing Christian songs. If it was Davido or whiskey that went to minister Christian song now, and after that he ends up with the girl, nobody's going to say anything about it. But Samuel Apostle has made us believe that he's a certain kind of person when it comes to Christianity, and that is the eye we were using to look at him. And everywhere he goes, he deposits it. He is turned to, which, which king was that that was married from every, every country he went, that they were giving him all the different gods, and he had over 700 wives. Why? Solomon. Solomon, do you understand? Mm. So he, that's what he wants. And can you imagine as well, his wife at home does not have a child. We don't know why. Poor woman might have been trying to get pregnant, but Sam is out there depositing it in different places, asking them to get rid of it. And he can actually have a child in his own home where he would really want that child. You see, you know? that's a spiritual fight at home. Yeah. He can't do it at home, but he's doing it outside. So, Ajike, <laughs> it looks like the spiritual realm are fighting Samuel Kosu, going by Celia, who is <laughs> an adversary. Yes, Sammy was hard has entered this conversation now. There are so many men of God for. But the truth of the matter is that even we that are not seemingly, you know, um, people of the pulpit or whatever mm -hmm. you may be called, when people fall like that, they are testing things to put in place. Like I know a lot of you know people that maybe their husbands, some pastors that on their phones, they have a, maybe their wife has the password, husband has, you know, there's some there are some sites, there are some apps they put so that there are some sites you cannot go to, there are some, mm -hmm. you know. Like now, that's uh, his idea. Uh, it's not him that's handling it. It's another person, the VA that is handling it, a virtual assistant. So, you know, all those kind of things, all those new posts. If you want your marriage to work, 
if he wanted that marriage to work, he knew what to do. It's not his first trip around this rodeo. It's not. So he has experience. In he has had this experience. So I it, don't it, think. It, so it, it's, it's something that he allowed. That's what I can say because you know what? If you, you do something wrong or something didn't go well the first time, you, you should learn from experience. You should know that, okay, because I've seen many, in fact, there are some pastors, they probably mm-hmm. don't have any affair or whatever, because the, this, the husband's um, Instagram is also installed on the wife's phone, so she can see, he can see, you know, there, there are accountability apps now, there are so many of those things around, the Christian, the Christian um, society, too, they're not sleeping, mm. They're not sleeping. So it's not as if maybe they're just telling you it's just going to read your Bible and be going like that. No, there are a lot of things that these two are putting in place because there's, there are some apps against pornography, child porn. You know, there are different things that they are doing. So he, there are things you can do to prevent these things. He wasn't ready to do it. Yeah, he wasn't. Really? And, and Ajike, talking about falling, eh? Hmm. I, don't, I don't really think this guy fell, though, because he has been falling for one year. He was in a relationship with her for one year. For me, falling is okay. You went, you went to America to minister. Okay, you saw this girl wanting led to another, and you just mistakenly slept with her. Do you understand? You just mistakenly slept with her, but you then realize that oh my god, I shouldn't have done that, and that's where it ends. Pray to God for forgiveness and try and forgive yourself and speak to your wife or if you if you have one. But this one, eh, this man was enjoying this relationship. Because are you trying to tell me in the one year he has been in this relationship with this woman, he hasn't gone somewhere else to minister? So imagine that he was see. If it's a sin of your own that you are carrying, for example, maybe you're, you and your wife, you, and, you know, there are certain things you do that you know that you shouldn't be doing because it's against the will of God in your marriage and things like that. It's understandable. Maybe you, you go and steal more. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But this was an outside sin. Let me just put it that way. Not like there's any. This was an outside sin. You completely breached the marital contract you had with your wife, you had with God, because you took those vows. And the thing is, when people take vows, they shouldn't forget they are taking it, if they did the wedding in the church, they are taking these vows in the presence of God. So that, that does not register in your mind that when you want, when you have done your Christian vows and you have said those vows in the church, and then you go and then sleep with another woman, you are, that's not just a sin. You are telling God, doing this to God because you are like, yes, those vows I took in your presence does not mean nothing to me. If you fell and it was a one-off situation, then yeah, because at the end of the day, we are all humans and I do not expect any man of God not to fall, but it is how you fall. You cannot be falling for one year. This one year fall is too much. Just to buttress what you're saying, Celia, his falling was a repeated fall because it allegedly, fall. Um, African doll bought him Christmas presents. No. They were talking back and forth. But let, let, let's move to the left. And he's really, sorry, Yuri, he's, you know when the Bible says, how many times would you do something? Seven, seven, seven times. times seven, 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 he's seven. really taking it literally. He is. Okay. <laughs> let me ask, let me go to our day. And then I'll come to Ajike and then Celia. Do you think the whole, actually, let me go to Ajike first and then I'll come to you, Adi. Do you think that the whole religion, and I mean that the Christian dom is in shambles because we have the likes of um, Timilenia Digun of Mind Ministries accused of sexually assaulting several girls in the church. In the church. Uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. Several girls in his church. Allegation of sexual assault also trailed the likes of um, Biodo Fatoyimbu of Koza. How do we know who God has called? Gun, 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 gun. So that people that are calling themselves and claiming that they are doing God's work. How do we remove those, those wolves? You can't remove them. They will be there. You can't remove You'll be there. So that's why you should know your God. Mm. You should know your so you, you should know God for yourself. You know, the same way people come in and say, eh, eh, when well, you're preaching ties, it's preaching your faith, then nobody forced you. Mm-hmm. Nobody, they did not put a gun to your head to attend these churches. They did not force you. So it's a personal thing. It's something if it has worked. So the people that are still going to this church, it's working for them. I do not want band. You understand? They are comfortable there. Comfortable. I can't. You need to understand that these are allegations. 
that in Timmy, in Timmy at the goose case, he said he's apologizing for whatever it is he's been accused of. Yeah, yeah. Like this one, you said, I think it's the second time I'm even hearing because all those kind of talk, I don't follow it. Why? Because my own is that if somebody is doing that kind of thing, he did it the first time, you still went back there, they shook it again the second time, you were control bad. You are enjoying the shooting. Yeah, you are enjoying it. You're enjoying it. Enjoying and it. and, and, so and from what Juliana was saying, yeah, how can you how you, you she said that he Jimene asked his sister, her sister, to come and visit or to come to him. Right from school. I allow that. Thank you. And then, and then she opened her mouth to say, "And I told you not to touch her. I begged you not to shut the fuck up." Okay. So I'm not girl. someone that's abusing my younger sister. And number one, you even asked her to come. God be punish you for even asking her to come. Then I will not let her go. Then I will not be telling you don't touch her. You are mad. Okay, Celia, you, I, I'll come to you, but Celia, now that you've taken me to where I want to go. Do you think Nigerians worship men of God rather yes, than now? Uh, yes, they it's do. It's only Nigerians. Forget it. Yes, hey, no, no, no. Hold, 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 hold on. I do care. Hold on. For the context. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. In the U.S. called the Bible Bells. They hold do on. this even worse. Hold on. But for the context of this conversation, I want us to limit to Nigeria because the instances and the examples that we're given is relatable to Nigerians. People can see. Yeah, but the reason why, why I will not want you to say that is because this is an inter this is a, it's, it's on an international platform. So people why, are why? with things like this. It's not only Nigeria. It's all everywhere in the world. There okay, are some so people in some places following, uh, uh, following a monk up and down. Yeah. different Religious, different religion, what is that? You, they have said it, religion is the opium of the people. Yes, it's you is. that will decide to take the cocaine in your brain. If you want to follow them as if you are not okay, follow them. Okay, so Ajike, please lecture us. Why is it that people are actually worshipping men of God rather than the God that we're supposed to be calling on? Hey, because the God see, let me tell you a story that happened in the Bible. Mm -hmm. When God went to meet Abraham, I mm. told him that we will have a son. Blah, 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 blah. Abraham now went to meet uh, Kiria. Sarah. Sarah now said, it's not me that God told you. He mm. told you. Mm. That's mm. what has happened. Mm -hmm. Many people have not known God for themselves. Yeah. It's the same thing with parenting. You know, you, you are the first God your child will know. Yes. You are the first God. Your child will know, he will not know God if you are you like. So it's how you now. So some people have surrendered their life. Like that you know, it, it went some one pastor said, and God told me, God told me. Some people they like, you know, some people like to be led. So like we cannot tell me God told me, especially if you go to my money, you I will not ask you. <laughs> I will not ask you. Because if I'm broke, I will not pay tight. Because God knew I was going to be broke before this day. He knew, he knew. She really said he knows the beginning, yeah. he knows the oh, end of the beginning. He knew I will be broke and I will work to eat. Yeah. So me, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not one of those people that will give my money. I'm saying I'm waiting for fit. It's not fit I will eat. It's food. So me, I can, I can I cannot call. But some people, they will give everything, and God honors them. Yeah. You know, at times, God honors them. You see, some people just say, ah, I gave up my money, and God gave me a child. Me, I'm giving money, child did not come. Yes, that's true. It's not come. So, you know, we are all different. So, people, God answer. And me, I've done things. I've given money for things, other things. And it came. Mm. I've done, you understand? I've given sacrifice. Like, okay, God, I want this thing. I tied it to it. And it came. But it's not the child, you know, it's something else. So, you understand? We are all, you know, that's why at times I will ask you, your Lord, you cannot really, God does what He wants and what He wishes. So that's why I will tell you that times, even that money, maybe He was just ready to give you what He wanted to give you. So that I decided to believe that, oh, He's tied to that money. It was just time when it was your turn. Like they said, in, in, when, when, when it came to uh, Queen Esther and, you know, when it was her turn, she required nothing. It is in the Bible there. When it was her turn, she required nothing. No, she didn't need. She didn't need to look beautiful. It was just her turn. So at times we need to come to that. But me have come to that realization. Some people have not come. Okay. So until they form a pastor inside home, we we'll continue. Okay. Before I go to other, because I think Ade is losing connection there. Celia, and I ask the same thing. 
what exactly is our problem with religion and how do we cipher I have been called by myself God has called me or I'm a legend that God has called me because we see people being um, driven into rabbit holes going into debt sleeping with their pastors unable to say no because you know this is a man of God. He represents mm. God. And if God asked me to do this, like I said, people have put seeds of faith and it's materialized for them. And there's some people that are good orators that will say, blah, 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 blah. And you know, link you up with scriptures and it works for those people. So it makes it difficult for some people to separate that man and the man of God. So what, what what's going on? Let me pick I, your brain. I think up. the first problem is what they can see. Mm. Yeah. They see that man of God, but they can't see God. Oh, yes, yeah? they can't see God, but they see the man of God. So for them, the God that they see in their in their minds, yeah, is in front of them in their pastor. So that is why, for them, it's almost as if they are, God is in front of them because that's the that's the God, that's the pastor. So their God is in the pastor, and the pastors they know this. I've been to a church before where. The, 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 when it's Father's Day or Mother's Day or the pastor's birthday or whatever it is, the way the, pe the, the people from the congregation will come out and talk about the pastor, it is nostalgic. It makes me want to vomit. That's there was the even one that will listen to their pastor and not their husband. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. There was even one that was talking eh, about the pastor and his father that came from Nigeria to visit was in the congregation. And the way he was talking, pastor has been there for me. Pastor, and I was just like, oh, I was embarrassed for the father because it was now almost as if the father did not bring this, raise this child. It was the pastor that did. Do you understand? So number one, we need to start, stop seeing the pastors as God. We need to know God for ourselves. You need to understand that what the pastor will open his mouth and ask God for, you too can do the same. But you see, we don't have that faith because we think that, ah, no, 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 no. My sin is too much. Let me, the pastor's sin is not plenty. So let me give pastor money to fast. People pay pastor to fast for them. I mean, yes, people yes, give yes, pastor yes. money to fast for them. Oh, I cannot pray pastor. I'm too broken. Please do it for me. They'll, they'll give pastor money. Now they are, they, they are seeing the pastor as a higher being. I don't see my pastor as a higher being. I see my pastor as someone who enjoys to do the work of God. And I choose to believe what he says or what he doesn't say at my own, um, um, at my own cost. Do you understand? So they are saying, people take everything their pastor says for face value, they believe it. Literally. The pastor can tell a woman, do not open your leg for your husband for one week and see what God will do for you. And the woman will really go home and close leg for one week. And within that one week, a lot of things can happen in that marriage because the pastor can be the one servicing the woman for one week. Do you understand? I don't know what happens in, it happens in the churches and they say, oh, well, I'll be uh, Do you understand? Can you imagine? We are so, as, as humans, we are so gullible, it's irritating. Imagine you, I watched a video on Instagram the other day, a pastor was in church and was telling all the young women to come out and take off their pants and give it to him in front of the church. I don't, I think he was washing. I don't know what he was doing with it. Mm -hmm. And people were really going there, pulling pants and giving, they were actually, they were taking off their clothes and they were giving them towels to tie. Oh yeah. Like, they were giving them a wash. Thank you. Like what, what is that? This, the, the, do you understand? How, how can you come back from that though? How, how can you tell that woman that what this pastor is doing is bullshit? You how? Because if they have they, they've gone too far, there's no it's almost as if there's no return. Because if you as a woman can not even in the pastor's office or in front of the congregation, everybody else in short, I don't know which one is worse, whether in the pastor's office or in the congregation. I don't know. But do you know do you know yeah. something that um I've been to a church, right? Hmm. And a pastor is making a speech. And do you know there's something they will say sometimes and say there's one of you. That God has, God has given me a message for you, the job you are going for interview for, and probability that two, three people in that congregation are going for job interview, mm -hmm. right? And you will be there and believe it's talking about me. That has happened to me going to my sister's church in Brixton, the first time she ever invited me to the church, right? And the, the, I can't remember where he said, but it relates to me, mm. right? And you know, I left the church as well, and I'm thinking, hmm, that man is actually talking about me. Do you understand? Mm. But because 
because I didn't go back to that church again, and I got my home mind my way, that was actually off my head after some days. Yeah. You know, then after a while now, you know, many years now, I've just looked at them and think bollocks. Whatever you say, because you're not God. So you're just making it probably. Are you saying that there are no men of God that God speaks through? Listen, we're all men of God, as far as I'm concerned. We're all mm. man of God. For God has created everyone equally. In his he own has given us the same, the same thinking, the same thought, how to be close to him, what we want to do. You know, to, for me, I don't believe you need to be in a building to be close to God. Mm -hmm. I actually don't believe you need to have a particular religion to say you're following God. Your relationship with God matters. There's things that God set down for you to do, right? Which if you do it, right? Like you're helping people without expecting nothing back. You help a, a single woman, a single mom, whatever. Don't expect to go and sleep with her because they're helping her. Don't expect to help someone with a job to try and sleep with them, right? God wants you to do things because God himself is not going to come down to say, I'm going to help that Catherine girl to do mm. this. He's going to have passion on someone in a position to do it. So if you're in that mm. position, do it and wait for God's blessing, right? There's a number of single ladies in Nigeria that I have them pay their kids school fee. That's my own tithe, as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. I don't give any church tithe. Yeah. I went to I went to Nigeria in 2000 and I think 2009 or 10. And I went to, I was staying with my cousin who was a Sule local government chairman. And one of the ladies, girls that come around. So I decided to go to church with them. Redeem church in Sule. I went and the pastor said some, they gave us an envelope, right? Two envelopes. One is the normal tight and one is a, a what do you call the other money? Building offering or mini uh -huh, mission offering. offering, one, yeah. Yes. So the man, the person now says, if you're going to donate some figure, he says the figure, they should come down. He wants to pray for them personally. So exactly. there is um, about 15 or whatever number of people went down. He prayed for them, put his hand on them. And I was sitting up there wondering, hold on a minute, I need a prayer. Mm. That woman who can only afford 15 and I need a prayer. No. Right to see. And I was thinking to myself, but on my understanding of the Bible, mm. Jesus is not price prayer. Mm -mm. Prayer was portioned to everybody. So after that, he says, whoever is going to give another figure, they should stand, he points his hand and pray for them. Mm. Right? So he did about four different sets of payments yeah. and different prayer. So and, we got gold, end, platinum, bronze, and yeah, yeah. yeah I was, to be honest, I was confused. So at the end of it, I said to the girl, I said, I want to speak to your pastor, mm -hmm. right? The guy said, well, I said, no, this is what the man did. And I'm confused because the little I have is what I put in the envelope, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting that special prayer. That <laughs> means I'm not worthy of his prayer. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the girl said, I said, I'm not going, no, we have to go. So the building somewhere at the back of the church where he's got his building, we're going and they stop us, right? They said, where are you going? I said, look, I want to speak to the pastor, right? And the guy said, why? And I said, this is what happened. And this is why I was there. And I want, you know what one guy said to me? Do you know, he's not the pastor talking. He was the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. And I said, no, I said, no, no, no. I said, I said, no, no, no. I don't agree with you. So it become like, he's not allowing me to go forward. Yes. To be able to see the pastor. Then another one came. And that one said, uh, you, you don't understand the Holy Spirit. And I look at the man up and down, and I see he's wearing slippers. He's dusty like, I'm thinking, you need the prayer. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, I don't even need the prayer. You need it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And this man was trying to confuse me, confuse me that uh, the pastor, and I just thought, you know what, forget you people. And mm -hmm. I just left. And from that day, I won't lie to you. I decided I will not step in the church again. Because before that, I went to a church with someone in Peckham, another regime or whatever church it is. All the man was talking about is this tight, tight, pay tight, pay tight. I'm thinking, do you know how many illegal immigrants is in here that don't have a job mm. in this Peckham church? Yeah. That you keep asking tight. And they put me off church. You know, you you see, they put it, me off. Yeah, the thing about it is unfortunate, that, and I, I'm going to be very Christian like here, that someone's attitude of, I wouldn't say I've robbed you off. Yeah, the good work that other Christians are capable of doing. But let's shift gear and in closing, and I'm not an advocate of cheating, you know, but you know, would it not make sense? Or don't you guys think that if you really want to cheat, you should do it with someone that has something to lose? Because 
with <laughs> Sam Yokosu now, he assuming he chose another somebody that is that has something to lose. We won't be having this. And I'm not, mm-hmm. don't come and say trash it and Yori are advocating for cheating. No, but to you know to safeguard all this nonsense. Celia, don't you think it's okay to go and look for somebody that has something to lose when you want to spread it wide? Because look at it this way. African doll, and I'm not taking responsibility from Samuel Kosun. As an she looking at African doll, she can't be less than in her 40s. As a man, and I'm trying to think like Adi, if I'm cheating, it is not my responsibility to go and tell you, Celia, go and buy plan B. You as a woman should be able to take care of yourself. We are both cheats. So when two combined cheats come together, we need to put ourselves heads together to cheat cohesively. So don't you think that you, you should look for somebody that has something to lose before you start wilding it around? You see, Samuel Koso has two reasons why he shouldn't have cheated at all. Yeah. Mm. Number one, he's a married man, right? So I don't I don't understand what concerns married man married man and cheating. But anyway, people say they, anyway. He's done. And then it. number two, he's a nun now. Number two, you are now a gospel artist. Like you're the one that leads people to Christ. So again, you have no business cheating. Okay, let's assume you cheated because you could not hold yourself. One off, two off, three off, because you fell, but you didn't fall you had an affair. So again, you had the capacity to judge what you were doing. And yet you chose to do what you did to have that affair for one year and then get the lady pregnant. So is it that you wanted a child? I don't understand. And with regards to your question, do you want to cheat with someone that has more to lose? Maybe, as you said, I mean, we're not going, it's not like we're going to sit down here and start telling people how to do it and how not to do it. But just don't cheat in the first place. And yes, if you must cheat, Cheat with someone that has something to lose. Someone that if the news of the cheating breaks, that person might also lose their marriage just as you might also lose your marriage. And if yeah, you're but- a man and you want to cheat, just tell your wife, or more, I'm finding this woman attractive. Do you mind? You might be surprised. Your wife will just say, go ahead. Go ahead, but just do it once. Finish. Okay. Yori. Yeah. Do you understand the law of attraction? Ha, very much. Opposite attract. Yes. Two people of the same like mind, right? They don't attract. That's right? why I talk. Somebody, quiet. somebody must have something to lose, and somebody must have nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. Then the game uh, is on. Do you understand? Makes it interesting. Yeah. So he is a gospel singer, is a married man, and to me, he cares nothing. Because if he cares about his gospel, if he cares about his wife. He wouldn't go there, all yeah. right? That lady has a lot to gain, mm. right? And she's out there to get the gain. So they're both two opposite that way for me. So Tony, o- what's his name, Tony Okosu? Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Okay, Sammy <laughs> Okosu. What can I do baptism of change name for him? Sammy. Okosu. 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 There's another Tony Okosu. Okosu. Hey, 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 hey. Okosu. 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 Tony Okosu has Okosu. died and is resting in heaven. Sammy okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sammy, anyway, let's say Sammy. Sammy. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy doesn't Sammy have... Sammy that is wilding in yeah. the world at the moment. We, we see Sammy as a man that has a lot to lose, but he doesn't see himself as anyone that has anything to lose. Mm, wow. if he, yeah, if he's got things to lose, like, do you people saying one time, two time, three time, four time? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Max. Yes. So you can... So he has nothing to lose, but that lady has a lot to gain. Because mm. she's come out and ready to yeah. blaze the gun. Yeah. Do you understand? She wants a baby. She's ready to keep it. She wants a famous guy. And she wants to destroy the kingdom of God. So she's achieved what she wants to gain. Yeah. And she's in her 40s, not, not married, no child. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is it. And you're learning. Time yeah. is running Best now. Person. Time is running. Mm. That child, if they can if they can do the any and prove he's that man, and he's got money, America I will ensure money. he pays the money. No matter which yeah. O is hiding, he will pay it. So, and um, this, that's how it is. So, there's nothing about people have something. We have to be. I have something to lose. No, somebody has something to lose, and somebody has something to gain. Okay. No, that's how it works. In closing, 
should people who want to cheat find someone like we've been saying that's got something to lose that way it makes cheating a lot easier why is this the best place? I beg you, I don't have energy for that one. I think you want to do this your life. You guy, Jay, you go to hell. <laughs> I can do it. You go to hell. Hell is waiting for you. Hell, hell. So, hell okay, is... Can, can I just ask you? Yeah. Um, have you had experience of someone cheating or you just don't... Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> yeah. I really just don't care, really. That's what I don't know. <laughs> well, and there are a lot of um, churches now that have actually dropped um, Samuel Posner, and he's actually said he's taking time away to seek God. That all they That's all they always say. They have a crafty PR thing that goes out. He's seeking, um, th- and this is me paraphrasing here, he's seeking God's yeah. space. You should not disturb God, please. There are a lot of prayers that God needs to answer. You should not use his own to disturb God. You cannot be seeking it's God's space. Then you want wait first. Do it, move, oh. I beg. Ah, people, are, people are ready. I beg. You should just go. So, Samuel Koso, as you can hear from Celia and um, Ejike, don't be disturbing God with your... It's now you want to see God's face. When, when you were doing this thing for one year, you were a married man, you were in a relationship for one year. Why didn't you see God's face then? But you you see... are seeing God's face now because you were caught. Because this lady yeah. came out and spoke up. If this lady had been spoken up, would we even be trashing didn't... this topic today? I said, yeah, but you I said see there's the a is, yeah. He's come out and asked for forgiveness, right? Yeah. And if some churches have dropped him, I can mm-hmm. assure you, right? Give me some times. The churches that are dropping without preach that he has repent, and God says, if you ask for forgiveness, we draw you back in. They'll yeah, bring but you back. It's, in the, it's in the Bible that if truly you are if repentant, you you're repentant, then there should be an allowance for you to come back into the Christian folk. We've seen ministers but, who have gone to Christian. I'm sure. And I'm sure he's back. asked for forgiveness before on his other activities. On the four pregnancies of before. Yeah, well, he must have asked before. Let me tell you something. In reality in life, if you're a persistent offender, the last thing he will throw the key away and lock you up for a long time. Mm. Forget you. Right? Him coming back, it's going to happen again, I can assure that. Hopefully, okay. we'll still be alive to witness his story again <laughs> before people they realize that he has mental problem. And they need to address the mental problem and I think you need to say mm. it so he can hear wherever mm. he is. Mm-hmm. Uncle, you have mental problem. See somebody. Fix it. Don't just take yeah. a break and go quiet. Yeah? And go and depress yourself. Go and mm. see someone for help. Work you on it. yourself. Yeah. You understand? He needs it. Okay. So yeah. we'll leave you at that. And I think our advice would be to the churches have actually dropped him to support him be it in his mental well-being, his physical well-being, and his spiritual well-being. Look for counsellors, like we've touched on his mental health. There might be an addiction problem here. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Sammy, hold yourself accountable. These pregnancies did not jump on people. This was an act that... Penetration. (laughs) Part two. (laughs) No, (laughs) penetration. Don't let me be using my hand. So Mm -hmm. until (laughs) next week, until next week, uh, like we said know god for yourself it's important that you have that personal relationship and as celia Ajike, and anade said god will not come down to profess solution to your problem he would send someone so if you are helping someone help them out of the goodness of your heart mm-hmm. not because of what you want to gain and for those pastors that call on multi-millionaires to come and drop money if there was any money or any any offering that god really or jesus spoke about was the widow's might the person that are brought out of their lack mm-hmm. so let us be encouraging people in their religion be it islam be it christian be it okay let me stop there yeah. until next week <laughs> we'll see you Stay blessed. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.